Here's the solution to the homework problem that I posted a couple days back. So the most obvious first step is to multiply upstairs and downstairs by the cosine of x. So that's going to give me cos x dx up here. And down here I'm going to have sine x times cos x. And since secant and cosine are multiplicative inverses of each other, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a 1 down here. So uh, next up, next up, what I want to do is I want to multiply, again, uh, uh, upstairs and downstairs by uh, the number 2. So by multiplying, I get 2 times cos x dx, but I'm not exactly motivated to write this uh, as sine 2x. No, I'm not, I'm not going to write it as sine 2x. I'm going to leave it as 2 times sine x cos x, and the plus 2 comes along with it. So and then what was the uh, purpose of actually multiplying like that? So allow me to demonstrate. First of all, since I have two uh, cosines of x, so I'm going to write them really far apart. Cos x and cos x, okay? So I've written them very far apart from each other. And uh, so what am I going to do with this extra space? Well, let me separate the denominator. 2 sine x cos x plus 2. So what I'm going to do with this extra space is that I'm going to add a sine x and subtract a sine x term as well. And the motivation behind this is that now I have two, in, uh, two integrals that I can evaluate using some tricks. I've already explained this trick in a previous video when I integrated the uh, square roots of tangent x and cotangent x added and subtracted together. So I've already explained this trick. So if you've seen that video, you might be familiar with it. So the trick is to look at the numerator, like this, int uh, this uh, integral over here. You look at the numerator and I want a u substitution. I want to perform a u sub where uh, cos x plus sine x dx equals the differential of my u variable that I'm going to substitute for something. So I know what the numerator looks like and I know what the differential looks like in my u sub, but I don't exactly know what the u sub itself looks like. Well, what I can do is I can take uh, the equation, I can take the above equation and uh, then I can integrate it. So once I integrate the terms, I'll know for sure what my u sub is. So if you integrate cosine of x, you get sine x. And if you integrate uh, sine x, you'll get the uh, negative cos x. So, oh, sorry about that. Uh, I just integrated. So after integration, and if you integrate the differential of u, you're just going to get u. And no, you do not need the constant of integration in this case, because uh, this is actually step one. And this is step two. So in essence, I just wrote them in the reverse order. But this is your step one, where you made a u sub. And this is your step two, where you took the differentials. Now what's left is to uh, deal with the cross term in the denominator. So this is a uh, 2 times sine x cos x. And you can get cross terms. You can get cross terms once you uh, take uh, the square of the difference or the sum of two numbers. So in this case, I have the difference of two numbers, sine x and, and cos x. And if I take the square, I will end up with a cross term in it somewhere, correct? So that's going to be sine square x plus cos square x minus two sine x cos x. And sine square and cos square, they always add up to one, right? So if I take this term and shift it over here, and I take the other term and shift it to the right, I'm going to get 2 times sine x cos x equal to 1 minus, uh, this is all u, right? So 1 minus u squared. So now I have uh, the first uh, integral, I'm going to call this i1, I have the first integral uh, in terms of my u substitution now i1 equals uh, the integral du by this cross term, which is now uh, 1 minus u squared. And you had a plus 2 with it, so plus 2. So this is going to reduce to 
uh, the differential of u by 3 minus u squared. Now, if you want to solve this, uh, you can use a hyperbolic substitution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a variable t as in u equals, this is uh, square root 3 squared, right? So u equals uh, the square root 3 times the tangent hyperbolic t, which implies that du equals square root 3 times secant hyperbolic squared t dt. So now i1 turns into this fancy uh, integral, square root 3 secant hyperbolic squared t dt by uh, 3 times uh, 1 minus tan hyperbolic squared t. So what is 1 minus tan hyperbolic squared t? Well, that's just a secant hyperbolic squared. So secant hyperbolic squared and secant secant hyperbolic squared and secant hyperbolic squared cancel out and you're left with just a constant in the uh, in the in integrand. So that's going to be square root 3 by 3 times t and t is the uh, tan hyperbolic inverse of u and u itself is um, I think it was sine x minus cos x, or was it sine x plus cos x? I don't even rem remember anymore. Yeah, it's sine x minus cos x. So that's going to be sine x minus cos x. So that's the uh, first uh, that's the first integral, uh, i1. Now for i2, which is the integral of cos x minus sine x dx divided by 2 times sine x cos x plus 2. And once again, uh, the exact same approach, we know that the numerator cos x minus sine x dx is actually the differential of u, where this is the second step of our u sub, and the first step would be sine x plus cos x equal to u. So here I have my u sub, and once again to deal with the cross term in the denominator, I have to square the sum of sine x and cos x, so sine x x plus cos x squared equals, um, the sum of the squares is 1, right? And you have plus twice the cross term. So shifting it there, this was uh, u. So I'm going to have u squared minus 1 equal to 2 times sine x cos x. So that means my integral i2 is, in fact, du by uh, u squared minus 1 plus 2 which is, in fact, du by u squared plus 1, and we all know what that uh, reduces to. That's the inverse tangent of u, which is the, uh, and u is just sine x plus cos x. So there I've uh, evaluated both the integrals. So i equals i1 plus i2, so that's going to i, which was equal to i1 plus i2, so I'm just going to write the... Uh, inverse tangent thing first, so inverse tangent of sine x plus, plus cos x plus the uh, square root 3 times 3 inverse uh, hyperbolic tangent of sine x minus cos x, and I remember I forgot to divide by the square root 3 initially, and uh, do not, however, forget to add the plus c. So that is the solution to the homework problem. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, thank you. See you next time.